Greetings. Today I'm going to teach you how to make chicken pot pie. Um, I think everyone's going to say that's not chicken pot pie because it has no bottom crust. It's got no top crust except for the cheese. But you know what? That's okay. This is, it's chicken pot pie filling and then you finish it off how you like. I also am having it with uh, half a biscuit that I fried. Biscuit recipe will be in the description box. I've got four chicken breasts in here, cut up cubed. I'm gonna turn the burner on high. Four tablespoons of butter, plenty of salt. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Now you could saute onions and garlic for this recipe if you wanted to. I'm just trying to make the easiest version possible. I'm going to cook this until the chicken is done and all the liquid is evaporated except for the butter. So this really doesn't take very long. Getting there. I'm going to add in one cup of chicken broth and two tablespoons of white vinegar. And just be aware the vinegar is going to get a little overpowering, but that's okay. I want to reduce this down some before I add the next ingredient. This looks really good. So. I'm going to add in two cups of heavy cream and a block of cream cheese and turn the heat down. I'm going to have the heat on medium while I cook this. Ah, it splashed everywhere. And I want to mash up the cream cheese into the sauce. And just keep letting that cook until it starts to thicken some, and then you want to taste for seasoning. So it's getting pretty thick. I'm going to add the chicken in. And all the liquids. And I did taste it. I'm going to say I need some garlic powder, onion powder, and some pepper. I think it's salty enough. But let's add in the other stuff. I'm actually going to turn the heat off because it's get it's thick now. As it bakes, it's going to get even thicker. Mm. All right, that's good. That's ready to go. I'm going to add just a touch more salt. And a cup of peas, frozen peas. To the top, I'm going to add a heaping helping of uh, Mexican um, Mexican cheese. You can add whatever cheese you want. I've done it with shredded cheddar. I've done it with mozzarella, but this is currently what I have the most of on hand, so I'm going to use this. It's going to go into a 350 oven and it's going to bake for about 25 minutes and then the last five minutes I'm going to turn it on broil just to get the top bubble. Time for a taste test. My spoon's dirty just because I used it to scoop. But, 
Oh, real quick, too. I was asking my oldest daughter what she thought of it. She said she liked it all except for the peas. Mmm. Oh, my word. That is so yummy. Now, I don't actually need the biscuit to go along with it. I just thought it would taste good. So, that's why I cooked it up to go along with it. But you don't need it. You don't have to have it. This stands by itself. So, anyway, I'm not going to test the biscuit. I've got another video showing me to do that. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you try this. And let me know what you think. Bye.